Happy Halloween, everyone. I'm Danny California, but today you can call me Rainbow Fright. Today I want to talk about the spookiest penalty in roller derby. Direction of gameplay penalties. <laughs> Alright, fine. There's nothing spooky about direction of gameplay penalties. And yes, today would have been the perfect day to talk about ghost points, but what can you do? Hindsight's a biznitch. Direction of gameplay penalties include stopped and clockwise assists, which I'm not really going to talk about today as well as stopped blocks and clockwise blocks, which are affectionately known as clock blocks. Dirty. But what's really scary about these penalties is how often they're being committed. And this is basically due to the rise in popularity of the slow, stopper derby style of gameplay. Before we really get into this, I want to talk a little bit about backward skating. When I say backward skating, I mean your direction of motion is moving towards the back of your body. It has nothing to do with the direction you're skating in relation to the track. And why would you want to skate backwards in roller derby? Uh, cause it looks totally badass. Okay, there are other reasons too, but the point is, backward skating is totally legal in roller derby, and these penalties have nothing to do with the direction your body is facing, but the direction your body is moving in relation to the track. Clockwise blocking is all about the feet. When you engage another player, your feet must be moving in a counterclockwise or lateral direction. Clockwise movement is measured by your skates moving past a line perpendicular to the track boundary. Uh, what? Don't worry, I know it sounds confusing, but... Okay, yeah, it is a little bit confusing. On the straightaway, these imaginary perpendicular lines are pretty easy to figure out. And luckily, as you move forward, they stay the same. However, as you move into the turn, these perpendicular lines are constantly changing. Anytime you skate against one of these imaginary perpendicular lines, you're skating in a clockwise direction. If you engage someone while skating in this clockwise direction, it's a clockwise block. It's important to remember that clockwise motion is all about the feet. So, for example, I might be skating forward in a counterclockwise direction, but check my shoulder back into someone behind me. As long as while I'm engaging, my feet are moving in the proper counterclockwise or lateral direction, I can move my body in whatever direction I want. Stop blocking is pretty much just what it sounds like. It's engaging another player while your feet aren't rolling or stepping at all. This happens so much with scrum starts and stopped packs because people get all set up in their walls and then they forget to move their feet. Luckily, this is an extremely easy problem to fix. So when you're in your wall, waiting for that jammer to hit you, all you have to do is start shuffling your feet. You can shuffle forward, you can shuffle side to side, whatever. As long as your feet are in motion and aren't moving in a clockwise direction, you're good to go.